Hi Horizon Kids, it's Anne here with today's lesson on the armour of God and today we're looking at Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14 with the breastplate of righteousness. Now as an adult I don't particularly want to sit here and talk to kids about doing the right thing and you don't probably want to hear me talk to you about doing the right thing even if it's you know doing the right thing because it's what God wants. So instead I thought I'd get my dogs to sort of take the lesson for us. So firstly, let me introduce, Sierra, can you come over here? No, 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 you're like, no, okay, this is probably a good example, she just lift me on the chin, not what I want. Sierra, no, Lila, you are Sierra. You are. If Lila thinks that someone's not watching, um, or that she can get away with not following one of the rules, She'll break it. Sierra, we can trust her, no matter what's happening, that she will follow the rules of the house. Hey, Lila. Following one rule about no dogs on lounges or carpets also means that we can trust Sierra more than Lila um, with other rules. Lila loves to come down to the bin with me and I can normally trust her to do the right thing but just the other day she saw some workers eating lunch across the road and so she decided just to run across the road even though I called her to come back because she wanted to go and say hello. Um, by being someone who follows the rules, um, even if you don't always understand why, um, it can help God um, in keeping us safe and helping us to, to live the lives He wants for us. So I know that I can walk upstairs over a carpeted area and Sierra and Lila are going to stay downstairs because that's the rules. And there they are, at the bottom of the stairs. Like good girls. Now what about if I do that same thing with food in my hands? Let's see whether Sierra and Lila stay downstairs. Oh, you are good girls. Well done. They know the rules. What about if I ask them to come upstairs, even though they know it's not what they're supposed to do? Sierra, Lila, come. <laughs> now look what Lila did. She knows she's not supposed to. And Sierra stayed downstairs because she knows that that's the rules of the house. Isn't she a good girl? Righteousness is not about um, doing what's right because you're worried about getting caught out doing the wrong thing and about getting in trouble. Righteousness is not about doing what's right um, when everyone else is and then doing the wrong thing when other people are doing that too. Righteousness is a choice, it's a way of life to live God's way and to do things in the way that God says is right. And the way that God says is right is what's going to help us to live all that He wants for us. Even though Sierra is much better at following the rules than Lila is, uh, it doesn't change my love for them. It doesn't mean I love Sierra more than Lila. I love them both equally, just like God loves us equally, whether or not we're following what he wants of us um, in the Bible or whether or not we're sort of you know, getting things wrong at times, which we all do. Um, but having the breastplate of righteousness and trying to do what God wants us to do by knowing what's in the Word um, and following that with his help means that we can grow to be the people that God wants us to be and God um, can, can use us to do great things and to help so many others. <laughs> so that's it for the breastplate of righteousness um, for today. And so if you want to head to um, Horizon Kids and check out um, the content and do the activities, that would be great. Have a wonderful week. Bye.